Hello everyone, here's how to make your TI-84 plus CE up to 30% faster. Now to answer the question in the title, can you overclock a TI-84 plus CE? The short answer is no. However, you can reduce the weight states which has a similar effect to overclocking. So it is a weight state. When the CPU asks for data from the RAM, it has to wait for the data to be returned because the RAM can't fetch the data as fast as the CPU can process it. The wait state is just the amount of clock cycles, or in layman's terms, the amount of time, the CPU waits when fetching things from memory, which is why it directly correlates to how fast the device runs. It is important to note that adjusting the wait states of the calculator is not the same thing as overclocking it. You cannot currently overclock the T84 plus CE. Reducing wait states will just improve the responsiveness of the calculator, how fast it graphs, and how quickly the basic programs will run. Any assembly game or app won't be affected by this. Also, in case you accidentally do something wrong, please back up your calculator before proceeding. Another fact to note is TI set a wait state minimum value you cannot change of 5. Then they added a default wait state value you can change of 4. Therefore, the default wait state values is 9. Now, that's a very stable number of wait states. However, if you want to risk a little bit of instability, you can decrease that value down to 6. Going any lower will result in an immediate crash. Also, remember, every time your calculator turns off, the wait state value gets reset back to 9, so you'll likely be only using this trick when you really need the speed. So how do you change the wait state values? Currently, the only program that will safely do this is the Advanced Wait State Changer. It has an easy to use interface that allows you to adjust the wait state values simply by using the arrow keys. It will also prevent you from entering dangerous wait state values. You can download the program for yourself in the description. Make sure you follow all safety warnings or you could freeze your calculator. Enough talk, let's get into some benchmarks. On the left, I have a regular TID 4 Plus CE, and on the right, I have a calculator that spins better up with my advanced wait state changer program. You can download and run these benchmarks yourself using the link in the description. The first benchmark will be a graphing test. I'll be graphing this complex equation. I'll leave detect asymptotes turned on because that's default status. As you can see, the calculator on the right finished much sooner than the one on the left. The next benchmark tests how quickly the calculator can generate 100 random numbers. At first it doesn't display anything, the next it displays all the numbers it generated. Again, the calculator on the right beat the left one. This next test shows how quickly the calculator can generate list with 999 elements with it, then sort those 999 elements in ascending order. Yet again, the calculator on the right wins. The second to last benchmark tests the summation function. For those wondering, this is the equation I'll be using. This benchmark is a great one for testing the speed of different calculators. I've tested this on numerous brands, and different calculators can perform this test very quickly or very slowly. This last benchmark is a long one, and you're probably never going to realistically use it. It's a ray tracing program written by the Science Elf. He made his own amazing video about 3D graphics on a calculator, which you can watch by clicking on the card above. You can even get a download to the program by using the link in his description. 
Anyways, as you can clearly see, this program is very complex and hard for the calculator to run. You can see the calculator on the right slowly pulling ahead of the left one. And there you go, without a doubt reducing the weight states of the calculator makes everything run much faster. This speed is also felt in basic games you can add just a little bit of FPS or challenge to the game you're playing. That's only 90% of the fun, the other 9% is slowing it down. Now I know nobody has a great reason for doing this besides cheating at some games, but the advanced weight state changer allows you to increase the weight state values. The highest semi-usable value is around 30. If you disable the safety features though, you can go all the way up to 255. However, the calculator is completely unusable at this point, which will force you to perform a RAM reset to get it back to normal. And there you go. Have fun speeding up your games, graphs, and programs. If you didn't like this video, please comment why or I'll assume you're a troll. Have a good day.